Welcome back. As I said in one of my last videos, I'm currently in the process of moving my woodworking equipment into this workshop. Um, it's been quite a haul. Uh, I've had a lot of help doing it. Really, really appreciate everyone that's helped me. Thank you. Um, the problem I've had is actually compressing everything into this workshop. And the biggest problem I've had was somewhere to put my extractor. Um, I put my extractor on the wall and the problem I'm sort of having um, I can't reach it. Stupid problem, I know, but it's a problem. Anything that involves my hands above my neck about this far gives me restrictions around my neck and it makes me feel like I'm going to pass out, so I can't do this. I need something. Some kind of switch. Like so. That I can turn this on and off without having to get up there. Because I can't get up there. It's going to be fun. And it's kind of a perfect project for now. It's small and it's a mechanical project. I love designing them, I love making them. Um, let's go over to Fusion and see what we can do. Always the same When it was me and you But every time I need somebody new It's like they show vision I swear they sound the same They slept in on my skin Did you ever mean it? How can they say that this is love? Okay, so everything's been sanded and I've just put a rod through there for now. Uh, what I really need to do is see, does it work? Um, got the levers ready to go, as you'll see. So it's over there. Okay, about what I thought the better thing to do was take this down and dismantle it so I can actually just use this here and, and fit it up here. So what I've been trying to do is seeing how well this fits and does it work the switches and the first answer to that is no it doesn't not very well um, I think because this is such flimsy plastic I think I'm gonna make up a metal plate to go underneath just to strengthen that up double side taped plate in there. Now I'm going to drill through I designed a lever on Fusion and obviously in Fusion it doesn't really take anything into account like friction or anything like that so 
I sort of tried to do a few different things. So that that was the first one. And these were just too sharp and it wasn't the right angle. I then tried rounding them slightly like so and actually that worked quite well but from where I'd sanded it it got smaller and there was just the switches worked but there's just total loads and loads of slack in the middle so no good so again redesigned it on the fusion um, and I've drawn drawn used the laser to put in a few um, extra lines a millimeter apart so I can actually fit them and sand them back and fit them so that's that's what I'm going to do now Okay, maybe. As far as the finish goes, I think I'm just going to put a shellac sanding sealant on it. That's all it needs. So we'll do that now, actually. Nice and technical, as you can see. About right, I'll do. Right, so we're at the stage where I want to assemble this now. I need to get that gluing on first. You'll see what that's for in a bit. Um, start by getting that over there then. Right, start assembling it. And seems to be good. Let's keep going. Connecting rods on. Okay. So now the idea is, is that the idea is, is the arms pull this way, and that <laughs> nice. Let's get this back. Okay, it's done. Um, let's get this back together, and then we need to just run run it and make sure it's doing what we think it should do. need to test this first so let's get that plugged in I believe that's the off position let's have a so what I need to do now is make arms that hang down I've got two pieces of ply ready to go um, it's gonna be a case of getting some holes getting it shaped um, but essentially they're gonna hang like so so let's uh, do that we're, we're nearly there Excellent, I need my extractor. Okay. So I've just given these a little sand. Um, I'm just gonna do what I did with the rest of it. Uh, some shellac sand and sealant. I'm gonna be a bit lazy when it comes to finishing, so I just want it done quickly. There's that. Um, I'm going to have to be really careful getting this back on. I'm not going to be able to do this myself, so I need to go and get someone to help me. I'll come back to you once we're up there. Okay, so we're up here. It's all in place. Um, didn't really think about getting it up here by myself, so I had to get some help to get this up here. Oh, 
Okay, so look, all in place, really, really pleased how this turned out. Um, I, as I said in the beginning, I, there's no way I can get my hands up there and I can't be going up and down on a stool or a ladder all the time, so these. are just gonna make life so much easier. And that's what this was about. Really pleased.